Hey guys, it's Stacy. Happy Business Tip Tuesday. So I am excited about this because this is a very, very, very um, hot topic. Um, one that I think is very important to address, especially when you're starting off in your coaching career. Um, if I take myself back into the shoes of my day one in coaching, I was overwhelmed. I had no idea what the heck I was doing. I didn't know where to start, where to begin, how to fit it in, what time I had. I had a newborn. I had a kindergartner. I had a part-time job. I had a house to take care of and myself to take care of for that matter. And everything in the cards kind of seemed to line up as maybe I shouldn't be doing this. And I think there is a delicate thought process to it. Um, I think what's amazing about this business is that you don't have to work it as the individual next to you. You don't have to compare yourself. And if you are, what a great learning opportunity to put your blinders on and really go after the things that you want. I know for me that when I came into the coaching career, um, I just didn't know when I was going to have time to do it. I didn't know how I was going to do it. I didn't know how I was going to plug it in. Um, and I certainly was not working at the degree that I'm working now. Um, when I first started, I never used the business activity tracker. I didn't even have a planner. I just, and it's funny, like if I think back when I first started, I don't even really know how I did it. I think in the beginning, I really just stayed 100% part of my accountability group. I posted my three posts a day on Facebook. Um, I just shared some value and some content. And I had some conversations. And along the way, if it kind of floated around where I was like, hey, do you want to be part of our challenge group? I was like, I'm still new with this coaching thing, but you are going to be plugged in with the, my team. And I know my coach will help both of us. But why don't you just join us? So I never actually had to worry about in the beginning running my own group really taking care of the customer that I had signed up initially, even though I would check in with them, see how they were doing. I really just had them come into the group that my upline was a part of and we collectively coached and shared each other. Um, and then I didn't feel so overwhelmed. Um, another thing too is I had to set business hours for myself. And in the beginning, it was really one day a week for 20 minutes. That's all I did. And I loved it because I just set aside some time to just connect with three people. I invited three people. I had three conversations and that was it. Like that's all I did. And I just kept showing up every day on my social media in the beginning. I just stayed posting. Like that's all I really did. And people were coming to me. So my suggestion to you is if you're starting out in this business and maybe you're like, oh my God, there's team calls and there's this and there's that and I got da 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 da. It, may be, it might be time just to not give up, but to slow down. You want to reach out to your coach and just have that one-on-one -on -one talk and then collaborate a game plan. You know, maybe the only thing you need to do right now is just post every day on your Facebook page about your journey, like you would in a challenge group. You're just chiming in for the day. And if you see somebody who has sparks a little bit of an interest, be like, hey, yeah, you should join our group. My coach is going to be coaching us. We're starting at the end of the month. Why don't you join us? And then let me coach them but you have them under you. There's so many beautiful ways that you can do this and you don't have to be balls blazing. That's a good analogy in the beginning of your business, but how cool is it just to share this with somebody and then let us take care of them and you can mentor them a little bit, but have them part of our group, but still take the credit because you did bring them in. So something to think about to slow down the pace, to not give up on this opportunity. Maybe it's not right now, or maybe it's not at all. But don't forget why you started the business, because for me, I just wanted to help one person. And I wanted to help a Chloe. And I've talked about that on my call a thousand times. So, you know, if I can help a Chloe, then I've done my job for the day. And then I dream about what I can do. And I don't rush this process because I actually have an opportunity by working another job. I can really craft this the way I want 
without feeling rushed because I already have another income right now. So I think there's a kind of a beautiful thing in that process. You know, um, my mom does Mary Kay and she just does it for fun. And if somebody wants it, she sells them Mary Kay. And if they don't, they don't. You could be that kind of a coach. You can be anything you want. So don't knock it out of the park if you're feeling overwhelmed, especially if you, if you haven't hit it out of the gate. Um, if I can alleviate any um, stress or anxiety is just to like have fun doing it. Like literally I just took the business activity tracker and I just did one invite a day, you know, or not even one invite. I told you 20 minutes on a Sunday. And then I grew from there because I started seeing that I was helping somebody and that was value for me. And then I just found these small little pockets to do just what I could, not what my other people were doing. Because if I focused on them, I was never going to succeed in my own. And even if I were to invite one person, you know, a week, it was my goal and I made it happen. So don't give up before you start out of the gate, slow down, reset reach out to your coach, ask questions, and run the pace, run your race at your pace. But get the suggestions from your coach before you start getting overwhelmed because I think that's really gonna save you from stressing out like I did. So hopefully I can you know, break that stress in half, but this business is not for everybody. It's for the people who really just want to help another person. They want to see somebody get healthy mind, body, and spirit. And then you just kind of lock in yours along the way, which is really one of the selfish reasons why I coach. I selfishly coach for one of my reasons out of many, but one of them is I don't want to fail on myself anymore. So why not be, bring people in for the ride? And then I have to lock in my accountability even more. So um, we're all a team. We're all a family. You don't have to work the business by yourself. You can still invite people, take the credit, and have them be part of our group. So you don't have to worry about free groups. You don't have to worry about running a challenge group. Like basically everything is done for you. You just have to invite them in and show them that we're part of a team. That's really it. If you want to just like take a step back and wind it backwards a little bit, that's all you have to do. Because when you work on my team and you're a coach on my team, if you're not ready to run your own groups yet, you just ride on my coattails for however long you want. Because we all collectively do this together and I want to help you and I want to help others. So we just lock hands and we just share it together. So think about that as you move forward in your coaching opportunities and really think, you know, will this serve me down the road? Will this help me pay off some school debt? Will this help me, um, you know, give me a free moment to not worry about going out to dinner and enjoying? Can I buy a new outfit? Can I get my groceries paid for? Like, as soon as I start focusing on the things that I can get from this business, the anxiety tends to go away. And then I just slow down, reset, regroup, and then I just start my own pace again. So just run your own race, but don't give up on the dream because honestly, this business has so many wonderful things to offer. It is a little hard in the beginning, but I've seen people once they get over the hump and that's what I'm striving for. And let's just help Chloe's. We've talked about that before. Just help with Chloe. You can help one person, you know? It's the biggest dream and the biggest gift we can ever give. So I hope this helped. I hope this set your mind at ease. If things are too much right now, take a step back, but don't give up. Because honestly, we can find a pace that fits specifically for you, just like we did in your health and wellness. And let me help you. So reach out, don't be afraid, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye, everybody.